I've started Dr. Racket, uh, and when you do that, the top window in your Dr. Racket may be empty, or it might say Hashlang Racket. Whatever it says here, you need to change it to Hashlang Plate, because that's the language we want to use. And after you do that, you need to click the Run button. After we do that, now you can see the bottom window says we're in the language plate, and I can type a plate expression such as 1. 1 by itself is an expression. You can see what plate says here is that uh, the value of 1 is 1, but before it does that, it shows you that the type of 1 is number. That's because plate is a statically typed language, so it type checks this expression, decides that it's of type number, then it evaluates and gets the value 1, and it shows us both of those pieces of information. Plate has other kinds of numbers. Of course, I can write 1.2. 1 1.2 is a number. Plate has booleans, which I can write as hash t for true or um, hash f for false. You can also spell those hash t or u e and hash f a l s e, but you can see that plate is going to print them out uh, using the shorthand hash t and hash f. Plate has strings, just like you would expect. So apple, banana, Strings can have spaces and other characters in them, just like you would expect again. In addition uh, to strings, plate has uh, something that's string-like called a symbol. So here, written with a single quote, followed by some letters, that is the symbol apple. And you can see it prints back out the same way I wrote it. Um, symbols are similar to strings, and then I can write the symbol apple or symbol banana. I cannot do a space in between, though. This would be two separate things, a symbol hello, and then a reference to the world variable. On the other hand, I can use things like uh, hyphen or plus, um, and those are allowed in a symbol as well. Symbols will probably seem a little mysterious at first, but we'll see the use for them uh, as we go.